Hey everybody, it's quiz time. Isn't that your favorite thing you heard back when you were in school? Yeah, it was mine too. But you know what? Guess what? It is quiz time around the DJI Knowledge Quiz. So they just introduced a couple weeks ago the, uh, the Knowledge Quiz in a press release. And in the last few days, they have actually implemented it in the DJI Go 4 software that was just released in 4.1.18. So what is the knowledge quiz? It is DJI's way of trying to get out in front of regulations across the world, I think, and specifically here in the U.S., uh, where it is being first implemented. The idea is that uh, when you first go to fly your DJI drone, you will be asked a series of nine questions where you have to answer uh, those questions correctly before you'll be able to fly. Now, you'll only have to ever probably do this once per aircraft, um, but it is something you'll have to do uh, before you can fly your DJI drone. So it's a little bit controversial. I know some of you guys out there are uh, not happy with this. We have bought our drones and we don't want to have any uh, interference in actually being able to fly those drones. I understand that, but it is important for all of us to be flying within the law and be knowledgeable so you can be safe. It makes it easier for all of us to give a good impression to the public and not put ourselves in a bad spot that's going to cause more regulations to be created. Now, let's go through and actually take a look at the knowledge quiz itself. So I went through and have uh, done the nine question series. Now, this is not necessarily the same nine questions you're going to get, but it's the nine questions that I got. Now, they're most, for most experienced drone pilots, these are not going to be hard questions for you. Now, if you've never played around with DJI drones before, and you've never paid attention to the laws at all, then these questions might be a little bit more difficult for you. But that's the idea behind the uh, quiz, is to gain knowledge for drone pilots. I don't think that it's to try and... They're not trying to look to... Uh, you know, flunk anybody or anything and keep you from flying, what they're trying to do is is by asking you a series of questions and really getting you to the right answers, giving you a knowledge base. And so I think that is really the point. All right. So this first question they have uh, that came up for me is, how far away can you fly a drone? Uh, well, uh, what is the answer? The answer is you must keep your drone within your visual line of sight. Now, keep in mind, these laws or these questions are here in the U.S. So for those of you guys outside of the U.S., your questions, when this is implemented for you and your local uh, area, will likely end up being different, but they'll be targeted to your country's laws and regulations. So remember, these are for the U.S. So what's the maximum flight altitude should you fly a drone under FAA guidelines? And again, as we know, 400 feet. And for the questions, they really don't try and make this uh, tricky or anything like that as far as I can see. Uh, they're pretty straightforward if you know what the rules are and what the regulations are. Question three, if you plan to fly a drone for recreational purposes within five miles of an air airport, what should you first do? Well, we know that you must notify the airport uh, before you do so. Question four, can you fly a drone near a major league sports game? Uh, no, not while there's temporary flight restrictions during the game. Now, this is something I see people uh, post videos on YouTube of uh, stadiums and so on, and I see in comments, oh, you can't do that, you can't do that. Well, as long as the stadium's empty and it's not on a game day and there's not a TFA in place, a temporary flight, or sorry, TFR, temporary flight restriction in place, then it's, then it's okay to do, um, assuming you're not breaking other rules. But here in the U.S., when there's a game at one of the major stadiums, there should be a TFR in place and you're not allowed to fly. Question five, where is drone use prohibited? 
Well, under FAA rules, which is what we're talking about, within 15 miles of Washington, D.C. National Airport. So again, pretty much anywhere around Washington, D.C., you're not going to be able to fly. Uh, now, this one, uh, in many places, city parks, it might also be uh, prohibited to fly in that area. But remember, this is FAA rules. Question six, how can you get authorization to fly a drone for commercial purposes? Well, you can get your uh, remote pilot certificate. That is the uh, part 107 uh, that a lot of you already know about. What privacy laws apply to the operation of a drone? State and local laws concerning surveillance and invasion of privacy that apply to other technologies. So the FAA does not have any specific regulations around privacy laws. Question eight, if you see a passenger aircraft when you are flying a drone, what should you do? Well. You should not interfere with that uh, manned aircraft, and you should get out of the way. That is the rules that we are living with here in the U.S. Stay away from manned aircraft. Do whatever you can to get away from it uh, so you do not interfere. Now, so far, I've went through and I've answered all these questions uh, correctly. I know what the answers are. I know what this answer to this question is. Question nine, where can you learn more about drone, drone registration requirements? The answer is D, but what happens if you get things wrong? Does your, uh, does your drone implode or explode? So I'm going to go ahead and answer uh, this incorrectly. So I answered A. You'll see that it is just showing uh, that... In, in red and it's there's next to next to it and now what I can do is just answer it correctly uh, and choose the right one and it shows me that I answer that in green and now once I've answered the question appropriately I can't change my answers so and that's the way it was on all nine questions if you answered it correctly you can't change your question you can't change your answer but if you answer it in inappropriately you can change your answer so then, once you pass it, congratulations, you passed the knowledge quiz, and you are done. So as you guys can see, you know, this is not a difficult quiz for anybody who uh, knows the laws. And to be honest with you, these are all kind of baseline things that everybody should understand and know anyways, if you're planning on flying uh, a DJI drone, because a DJI drone has the capabilities to uh, you know, fly in all kinds of different areas, fly up above 400 feet, right? We've, we've all seen people uh, do some dumb and stupid things where they're flying close to airports when they shouldn't have been. They're flying above the legal limits. So, you know, these questions are really just to uh, help give a baseline of knowledge uh, to a new drone pilot if they don't already have that baseline. So, you know, I... I agree with a lot of you guys who uh, say I shouldn't have any uh, interference in being able to fly my uh, drone, but I think that this is you know a two-minute uh, job to go through and answer this. It's not going to necessarily happen when you want it to. Um, right? The first time I uh, flew my drone after 4.1.18 came up, this quiz did not come up. The second time I went to fly it, it did come up. Uh, uh, it gives you an opportunity to skip it up to four times. So that's good. I like that. So you're not forced to take it the first time. Uh, so if you uh, you know are out and about and you really need to get, get that, that flight in right now, you don't have the time to take the, the quiz, well, you don't have to. You can just... Um, skip it uh, for that time and then when you're back at home and you have time be able to take your quiz so that is the DJI knowledge quiz I'm interested to hear what you guys feel about the knowledge quiz uh, we already talked about this a little bit in my previous video but now that you actually see the quiz itself I'm curious what are your thoughts on it is it too difficult uh, are they still being too intrusive? Uh, feel free to disagree with me. Feel free to agree with me. Uh, if you like these videos, I would love for you to subscribe. And I hope to see you on another one another day. And I hope you have a great one. And we'll see you later. Ciao.